Welcome. So what I'm going to do is show you how to solve this quadratic um, by applying factoring technique now when our a is greater than 1. Now the first thing we always look into is trying to factor out that a so we can get it to 1. Um, or just even factor it out at, at all. But we notice that we cannot factor out a 4 from the 19 or the 5. So we're going to leave the equation as is. And the technique that I'm going to show you for the next three videos is what we call the AC method. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do it very similar to the x or diamond method that we did, but there's a little bit of variation to it. So the first thing, when I was showing you um, that diamond method, we were able to use C, B, and then once we did our C and B, we could find our P and Q, which are our two factors. However, when we have a, absolute value of A is greater than 1, it's going to be a little bit different. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do A times C and then B on the bottom. And we're gonna, still going to do what two numbers multiply to add to multiply, or sorry, what two numbers multiply to give you the value of A times C, but then add up to give us B. So what we'll do is we'll do 4 times negative 5, which is going to be a negative 20. So therefore, now I'm going to look at the factors of negative 20 and determine out of those factors which ones add up to a negative 19. Well, hopefully we've had some practice and you can kind of understand, well, the only two factors that are going to add up to give me negative 19, um, sorry, let's write that down here, are going to be a negative 20 times 1. And let's just go through it again. Negative 20 times 1 gives us negative 20. And negative 20 times 1 adds up to give us negative 19. Okay. So now that we figured these two out, we cannot write this as a factored form. And this is the biggest mistake students make. Let's change our y to 0 since we're solving it. But the biggest mistake students make is they say, oh, those are your two factors, x minus 20 and x plus 1. But that is incorrect. That is true when we just have a c or when a is equal to 1. But when we have a is greater than 1, we have to go a couple extra steps. This is not the factored form of this. And you can apply the distributive property to see that it's not going to work. So what do we do next? Well, what we're going to do is we are going to rewrite these two terms in for our middle term. And I'm going to use a different marker to represent this. So now I have 0 equals 4x squared minus 20x plus x, or 1x, minus 5. Okay. So you can see what I have now done is I have now uh, rewritten my middle term, negative 19x, as negative 20x and positive 1x. So I haven't changed the value of my equation at all. All I did is I simply rewrote it in a form that we determined by using this method. Now what I'm going to do is apply um, factoring by grouping. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to group the first two terms and the last two terms. And then I'm going to factor out the GCF out of each term. So I look at what's the GCF out of this term. And I'll use a green mark. You can say, well, I can factor out a 4 and an x. So I'll factor out a 4 and an x. And that's going to leave me with an x minus 5. Then you can see over here, well, I want to get this factor to be the exact same as this factor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to factor out a positive 1. Let's write that in green. And then, therefore, that's going to leave me with still an x minus 5. All right, so our goal is to have our x, our factors be exactly the same, because then what we're going to do is we're going to factor the, the x minus 5's out. So therefore, I have 0 equals x minus 5 times our remainder of 4x plus 1. Now you can see that my uh, quadratic is in factored form where now I can apply the zero product property. So I'm going to set each factor at 2, 0. And then I solve. So x equals 5. And x equals negative 1 fourth. And again, ladies and gentlemen, you can always check your, ant check your factor form by multiplying it out using distributive, using a distributive property or FOIL to make sure that you get your original solution. But all we've done from here to here to here to here is we just rewrote, rewritten it into a factor form. We didn't change the value of the equation at all. But therefore, it gave us our solutions or our x-intercepts of our quadratic equation. Thanks.